I've been criticizing uh, the Fed for going too far too fast. Really important for it to have normalized interest rates. You know, zero interest rate is not the cost of capital. Uh, and so they got, that was a mistake probably to have it uh, that low, that long since 2008. But then they went beyond that to where the interest rates have been. And I thought that put the economy at risk for very little benefit, and probably uh, actually worsening inflation, ironically. Because um, if you looked more carefully at the sources of inflation, a big component was housing. If you think about how do we deal with the problem of a housing shortage, which is increasing the price of inflation, do you think raising the interest rates, making it more difficult for uh, real estate developers to build more houses, homeowners to build, buy more houses, is going to solve the housing shortage? No, it's going in exactly the wrong way. So I believe that they have contributed to the problem of inflation. Now, even though their models don't work this way, and they're not looking at things, I think, as deeply as they should. Their models tell them, look at the weaknesses in the economy, and therefore we should be lowering interest rates. So my, I would vote for a bigger rate cut, because I think they went too far, and it would actually help on the issue of inflation and on jobs. So on the 17th and 18th of September, Regardless of the payroll figure, later on on Friday, you think 50 basis points should be on the table? Yes.